our future is very bright and, and very excited about the classes that we have coming back. Um, we want to, at this point, uh, work right into our team awards. Now, these are these awards are voted on by our players. Um, I always thought as a player that made them a little bit more special uh, for the guys that received them. And, and as always, as we went through and, and tallied up the votes for these awards this year, uh, there were a lot of players that got a lot of votes for these awards, different players. And uh, that's exciting when you know you have that kind of uh, that kind of feeling about each other across your team. So uh, I'm going to have a couple of our other coaches uh, hand out a couple of these awards, and they may say something about their position as well. We'll start out with uh, the Offensive Player of the Year and uh, Coach Majors. Just a quick word about our recipient this year. Uh, I know I'll give it away here in a quick second, uh, but with a repeat winner this year and Sean Shelton, one of the, the biggest things that, that we were very excited about in watching him this year, and I know the teammates really bought into it as much as the coaches, was the development of becoming a, a stronger leader and, and taking his own there as well. Now, last year, as a young man making a lot of plays in his first year playing, and this year leading our team, and a lot of, a lot of you saw at the end of the year uh, leading us in a lot of uh, tight games and overcoming a lot of good uh, deficits to get us some good victories. So our award this year for Offensive Player of the Year goes to Sean Shell. Got just a short story here first. It won't take won't take too long, but each week I put together the defensive scouting report, and I always put a quote on the front of that page down at the bottom. And if you guys read that and pay attention to it, you realize and understand that oftentimes I use a quote from General George Patton. Okay, and the one I use is taken from an essay he wrote in 1926 called uh, "The Secret of Victory." Okay, the quote itself goes like this: it says the fixed determination to have acquired the warrior soul to either conquer or perish with honor is the secret to victory. Now that doesn't apply literally to the game of football, it's a quote about war, but figuratively it definitely has its place, okay? And I don't think there's a better quote that, best describe, that better describes what it takes to play defensive football, okay, with that warrior soul, that warrior spirit. And with that, I believe in my estimation that this year's recipient uh, embodies that warrior spirit, warrior soul, more so than anybody on the team. And that's a, that's a big statement because you guys, in, in my book, are all warriors. Okay? And, and with that, I would like to present the Defensive Player of the Year Award for 2011 to Nelson Windebank. Some of our accomplishments, or their accomplishments, I should say. And all the special teams snap, and you get one, you only get one chance when you go out there, okay? So they're kind of adrenaline junkies. You've got to perform that one snap. Is uh, they did not allow a turnover, and we took away five. Okay, that's pretty big. When we were supposed to have the ball back, we got it, okay? When the other team was supposed to get it, we got it five times, so that's a big deal. They blocked the field goal, and they stopped the score. It's another big one. Thud, thud is not a good sound in football, unless you're on the receiver, the uh, taking into that. Okay? They didn't allow a return for a touchdown on punts or kickoffs. They did not allow a punt to be blocked. Okay? That's big time. Okay? We were one of the top 20% in the country in uh, the, the uh, punt return average for the opponents. They did not only protect it, they sprint and they punish. Okay? Great job, guys. Thank you for all of your efforts. We didn't get to have a uh, meeting after our last, our final game. We hadn't received the um, uh, film from, from Kentucky Wesleyan yet, so we had some t-shirt awards that we needed to uh, present. Um, so could I have Ethan Cunningham, Daniel Megan, Tyler Owen, Tyler Bullis, please come forward. That they ain't got a t-shirt. You get it after so many points. Thomas Clanton had earned one earlier. Oops. 
Tell you want to show you though. Yeah, show them what the. <laughs> The <laughs> first, first award, award tonight goes to our, uh, our wild card points champion for this year. It's Thomas Clanton with 28 total points. Award. The next award is also a performance award, but it's not just that, it's also a vote by your peers, okay, which is, it's double, it's twice as nice, okay. The 2011 Special Teams Player of the Year is voted on by his peers and by his performance, Daniel Megan. Let me tell you, don't, don't run off. Let me tell you. <laughs> I always wanted to do that, didn't you? Yeah. It's the only time you can get away with it. <laughs> Daniel had a 37 and a half yard average. And he, we not only used spread punt, we used what we call Purdue, where we're doing some directional things. He had 15 punts inside the 20. Okay? Field position. He had seven punts that were 50 plus yards. Long of 77. Our, our lineman of the year uh, had, a, had a very good year. He has played ever since he first stepped on campus. He did not redshirt as a freshman. Uh, he uh, was very close to starting his first game as a true freshman. Uh, this year he had 22 solo tackles. He had 11 and a half tackles for loss. He had four quarterback sacks, two forced fumbles. Uh, he also got his ball on two pat, our hands on two passes that were thrown. And then he had some uh, unique things for a defensive lineman. He uh, actually got to run the ball in a game for two yards. <laughs> And we needed four. <laughs> but hey, he had his opportunity. Uh, he also did one of those things that uh, you always want to do as an offensive or a defensive lineman, and that's that he actually got his name in the record book for scoring uh, two points at St. Joe's. Uh, and all those things, probably the hardest hit of the year and we didn't get it on film because it happened where you don't film. But after the sack, if you happened to be there, he came flying off the sideline, and he knocked one of our own players about 12 yards <laughs> into the bleachers. Uh, so it gives me great pleasure uh, for the uh, lineman of the year uh, to be awarded to Tyler Bullis. We do an offensive and defensive work team player of the year uh, each year. The defense is kind of a defense and special teams blend as well uh, because that guy, uh, the defensive guys tend to, to help us on special teams and practice uh, maybe a little bit more than the offensive guys in some situations. But uh, our offensive work team player of the year this year uh, obviously was a true freshman for us. Um, he came down against the defense each week and, and uh, led the offense did some really good things from a leadership standpoint, uh, came into his own really uh, throughout the season and made us look silly defensively at times uh, in the second half of the season. So our Offensive Work Team Player of the Year uh, this year, Luke Longfield. Uh, defensively, uh, a guy that, you know, and I always went back to this each week in our, in our beginning of the week staff meeting, whoever frustrated Coach Majors and Coach Wavell and those guys over there the most, uh, I knew that guy was playing pretty good defense in practice. So 
the guy that frustrated Coach Majors the most this year uh, at linebacker was Taylor Schaefer. Some of you heard me talk about this award last year, and, and this is a, a special award to me. Uh, you know, the last award is our most inspirational player. Uh, this is a guy that maybe, uh, you know, some maybe counted out at times, uh, maybe when he was younger, uh, or when even when he got recruited. You know, maybe the guy who didn't have all the measurables um, of who you think the guy should end up being as a player, and and went out and did it anyway. And, and used the drive and determination of, of all the things that people told him he couldn't do uh, throughout the years uh, to become a very good football player. And you know, like I said before, when, it, when your team votes you, especially on this, reward, on this award, uh, they, they've got a special place in their heart for you and, and your leadership. Uh, and our recipient of this, the award this year, our most inspirational player uh, was, again, Nelson Windebank.